Hello, welcome to Maths with J. Here we're going to solve the inequality. Negative 1 is less than or equal to x plus 3, which is less than 5. And then we'll show the solution on the number line. So looking at part A, to solve this, we just want to end up with the x on its own in the middle. And at the moment, it's got a 3 being added onto it. So all we need to do is the same to each part of the inequality, just as we would if we were solving an equation. If we had an equation x plus 3 equals something or other, we would want to get the x on its own, so we would subtract 3 from both sides. So here we subtract 3 from each part of the inequality. So negative 1, take away 3, will be negative 4. And then taking 3 away from x plus 3 gives us the x, and that's what we want. And then taking 3 away from 5 gives us 2. And that's it. We would check our answer. So there's several checks that we could do. First of all, if we have a look at what happens when we're at the end point. So when x is negative 4, we've got negative 4 plus 3 is equal to negative 1. And negative 1 is equal to negative 1 and it's less than 5, so that's fine. And then although we're saying that x is not actually equal to 2, that's the value that we want to check as our boundary, our end point here. So when we put in x equals 2, we get 2 plus 3 is equal to 5. And that's fine because that's at the other end, we don't want it actually to be equal to 5, and that's fine. That's the end point. And then we want to choose a value in between negative 4 and 2 and make sure that that does work. So let's choose a nice easy number 0 and 0 plus 3 is equal to 3 and 3 is greater than negative 1 and less than 5. So that's fine. You can check any other number in between negative 4 and 2. It doesn't have to be a whole number. You could try negative 2.5. You could try, um, what else, 2 thirds anything you like, and it should work. What shouldn't work though is any number that's less than negative 4 or any number that's greater than 2. So you might like to check that those don't work in the original inequality. So for example, if we substituted 10 for x, we would get 10 plus 3 is 13, and 13 is certainly not in between negative 1 and 5, so that wouldn't work. So we've shown that we've got the, the right answer, and to represent the solution on the number line, we would draw a circle around negative 4 and 1 at 2. And then we need to think whether or not we need to fill in either of these circles. And we do want to fill one of them in. When we've got equality, that's when we want to fill in the circle. And we've got equality at negative 4, so we want to fill that in but we don't want to fill the other one in because x has got to be less than 2. And then we just join those points together. If your pencil isn't going to show up in the exam, what you would do is you would draw this just above the number line, same sort of way, nice straight line and an empty circle at the other end. And that will do.